Hi guys, right, so um, I'm hoping I can relax a few people. I've seen I've seen many people starting to freak out now, getting frustrated. That's natural uh, in terms of when something's coming to a head, an event or something, you get closer to it, you get nervous, um, excited, you think it won't happen, it will happen, and all this kind of stuff. Um, let me get. Let me give my pers some perspective. My perspective. Um, you don't have to agree with it, as I always say. I think far too many people are, th are seeing things from their own perspective, uh, in terms of what will will happen. So, not many people. I, I got unbelievably excited about this because I know how big this is. If you if you're prescribe to what I'm about to um, tell you in terms of a bigger picture and how this will be released um, Fox News basically it's the first time they've come out saying Hillary Clinton needs to answer for X, Y and Z calling her out they're actually declassifying all of the documentation they've only declassified a little bit but it's drip feeding um, about her being complicit in this Russia collusion and Obama signing it off so this is the start of it, guys. The start of them being exposed for what they are. Um, I think people need to manage their expectations a little bit. It does not serve humanity to go and just release everything out into the public. It will come to a fucking crashing halt. It's the last thing we need. And if you understand things from a energy, consciousness, spiritual perspective... When you understand that everything is energy, we all know this, right? So there's a political war going on, technological, social media. There are many facets, outlets to this war, expressions of this war between good and evil. Uh, and one of them, which is very important, arguably the most important, is this understanding of um, people's emotions, mind spirit has a huge effect on how this all plays out so and, and most people are aware of this because you've had many great teachers tell you so when people move into fear consciousness drops consciousness drops and and then it gives energy over to this let's call it the dark forces um star i always talk about star wars i'm a star wars geek so get over it um but when you hear the Jedi's and the Sith Lords, the good and the evil, the rebellion versus the Republic, um, they speak about the Force, and the Force is neither good nor evil, really. It's just a Force, it's an energy, and you can use it for either good or evil. Now, there is a balance to the Force, and the Force has been way balanced, way, way over to the dark side as the Star Wars refers to it now things are shifting people are waking up people are speaking out people are starting to stand rise um, and, and you're seeing it play out now doctors nurses politicians lawyers lawyers are getting together to sue the government movements are starting to happen and I've seen someone post about uh, an actor who wants to start his own political movement in the UK and so good things are happening because the energy is rising and it's now the force is starting to move towards greater good which then means the grip holds the that that evils had over humanity and its consciousness influencing all these things which brings everything into it things I've talked about in terms of ley lines and all that jazz is now shifting so everything's starting to be exposed so that's good but the last thing and I, I can assure you the greater good whether that's the heavenly heavenly beings spiritual beings the ones from above and also on this planet right now are doing everything that they can to make sure consciousness keeps rising on an energy level but also on in the arena of the mainstream media they have to be very mindful and they will be mindful these good guys of not sending people into a frenzy sending them into fear because consciousness drops 
and it makes the battle so much harder. So I hope you understand why, although you want to be appeased, more predominantly, predominantly, I know people, and I, I get it, so I'm not being a hypocrite, and I'm not saying anyone's wrong in why they want such big truth bombs to come out to shake the world up, but it won't serve humanity in this way. It's got to be drip fed out still. It's, it's happening much quicker now, and you can see that. You can see the shift in public opinion. You can see the shift on the mainstream media covering certain things that they wouldn't normally cover. And I've just seen, whether you like her or not, Candace Owens, but I've not seen any politicians, especially from the White House, speak about paedophilia. And she's just called, called out Chrissy Teigen, where she's, you know, calling out for sympathy and things like this, basically saying, you're just doing all this because everyone's calling you out for a paedophile. It's moving into the mainstream media, media now and and into to wake up the masses. So that's to be celebrated and that's exciting. You're not going to get those massive truth bombs just yet that you really want because it doesn't serve for the greater purpose of this uprise. It just doesn't. It'll send people into a frenzy. It'll send them into fear. Consciousness will drop. We'll lose the momentum that's picking up. So that's why it's being done the way that it's done. Um, and I've said it before. I don't expect the real darkness of it all to be fully exposed for a very long time. Just like many things that have eventually come to light. Sometimes takes years. Because um, it doesn't serve humanity. Just trust, as I do, that the... Those that are complicit in these heinous acts will be brought to justice. And then the, the depths of the darkness will be revealed at a later date. For those that want to search for it as well. Um, so yeah, so, so let's talk about the YouTube thing for starters. When they've took over this 24 hours of YouTube, people have been reporting to me that certain videos that have been banned or couldn't find are being able to be found. So I see this as a play and I've had no confirmation of this other than my own my own uh, um, interpretation of it. Under the guise of an ad campaign, Trump took over YouTube just as a guise of an ad campaign because they, they've got to play this political game. The moment they're going, right, we're taking everything, here's the truth, this is what we're telling you, it pushes people back. So... They've took over YouTube for 24 hours. Um, people are going, expecting YouTube to be taken down. It's a dictatorship then. No, what they've done is they've opened the floodgates for all the for the truth to be revealed for those that are seeking it. So then they've dropped truth bomb on Fox about Obama and Clinton and Russia and so on and so forth. And now people, when they go on YouTube, will be able to find the information rather than it being censored. People have told me videos they weren't able to be able to find in the past. I uh, like the fall of Cabal. It was find it very difficult to find that. Easier found now. So I genuinely believe a lot of people that are way behind in terms of where they're at in terms of an awareness and knowledge of things are now going to have their knowledge and awareness expanded. That, again, is a nice... Not nice, but it's a stepping stone. So their awareness expanding, consciousness rising and the truth slowly but surely being drip fed and revealing the darkness, the severity of all this. So don't get ahead of yourself. Start looking at it from a perspective of where the individuals are that are the mass, the masses, where they are. I'm slowly bringing them out. Yes, I know I share your frustrations. Fuck them. You know, the truth needs to be revealed and all that, but it won't serve humanity. Not on a consciousness rising level, not on a spiritual level. This is a multifaceted war. So relax, relax, enjoy the show. And like I keep saying, one way or the other, it's going to be resolved. What a big tipping point is going to be this. The uh, um, vaccine, sorry, therapeutic, Trump keeps talking all the time. Therapeutic, therapeutic. People have started saying it's a, it's a vaccine that's going to cause damage this annual. 
Well, that'll be the decider then, won't it? So I'm excited for that to come because the truth will be revealed about these therapeutics and what Trump's agenda really is.